Good morning, my name is Mary, and I'd like to talk with you today about the NC Historical Newspaper feature on our website. I work at the library assistant here at the Carter County Library, and I work with adult programming. One of the things I do is help people do their research in family history. We have a really interesting site that you can access through NC Live. If you just go to our webpage and click on Books and More, you come up here and click on NC Live. I'm going to go to Browse the Databases. Hit on the H's, and there you'll see the historic North Carolina digital newspaper collection. Now, not every newspaper in the state is in here, but there is a very large collection that covers a very large time frame. There's a lot of things you can find out in here that you may not have known, even about places right around you. I grew up in Carter County, lived, born and raised here, lived here most of my life, and I had never heard that the mayor of Newport was murdered on his doorstep. Um, this happened in 1909. So as you see here, I typed in what I wanted to search, hit the, hit the more info button. We're going to type in 1909. See what I'm talking about here. You can do some very interesting research into your county and automatically you start coming up with all these hits on this 44 matches. It tells us over here how many things that meet that requirement. And one thing I found really interesting is in this 1909, when we certainly didn't have the technology we have nowadays, look at how far this new story had traveled. We see newspapers from Winston-Salem, Charlotte, Goldsboro, Washington, Concord, Salisbury, Wilmington, Siler City, Asheville, Raleigh, Hillsboro. They were all carrying this story, which you have to admit that does pretty much make the headlines. So and it's interesting because the more stories you read, the more little details you find that may be slightly different. But this is an example of what you find. Uh, go on here, click on one of it, and you can actually read the story. It tells you the sad facts of what happened. While entering his home, he was, yes. So we want to go back and let's, let's try another research here just to show you something. If it happened big and it was in the state, it's most likely got wrote up in the newspaper. A very another one of those little known but often remembered events that happened would be the catch me eye explosion, which would help if I had spelled it right. And we know that this happened in 1942. You realize North Carolina is a really big military state and that munitions has to move somehow. In 1942, a munitions truck, unfortunately, met with a bad end. You see here three things on that already. And it tells us that this was indeed a tragic event from a munitions truck that was struck by another vehicle. And you can find a lot of information on NC Live. Well, let's not all let it be bad news. Let's just look at something just in general. Like I said before, not every newspaper is in there. All of the Carter County old newspapers are not in there, but there are some indeed. Let's just look up something cheery that it would have made the newspaper. We're not even going to put a year in it. Let's just see. Let's just type in triplets born. I wonder if that would have made the newspaper. We get 25 matches already. There were some in 1942, in December of 1942, June 1942. Okay, there are a lot of triplets born. Maybe I'm still in 1942. But pretty much whatever you type in there, if it happened in the state, newsworthy enough to make the newspaper, you'll find an article on it in here somewhere. Now, let's say... You, um, this is the very set of triplets you were looking for. This is someone in your family, and you want to make a copy of this. How do we do this? There's a lot of interesting, helpful features up here on the top. So if we go to the print button, and then we can print either the entire page or select a portion of the page. You will get better quality of what you're printing if you go for just the portion and print your article, and it will pretty much size it to if you just print a short article it will be printed you know very large and very easy to read and you just size out the area that you want and hit the print button 
and save that. It's very useful if you're doing family research and you're looking up on names. Now, if you are looking up names, remember a lot of people with the same names back then. So obviously, if you typed in somebody interesting like John Smith in 19, let's just pick um, 1955. you get 8,851 matches. So as much information, just like anything you're searching, as much information as you can put into the database, the more likely you are to get the correct information out. So if you were looking for John Smith in Carteret County, or if you put the county in, or if you could put some other family names in there, you would most likely eventually get to your John Smith. NC Live has got a lot of different resources that are available and are very helpful when you are doing research. This is something that you could use for school research, not only genealogy, but anytime you're trying to find something about an event that happened in the past. If you wanted to get all the newspapers on the day that Kennedy was assassinated, it would help if you could spell assassinated. And you know, it will start, okay, we only get four matches, but we didn't put in a whole lot more information. But as you can see, there's a lot you can do with this. Finding things, historical events, historical records, you can find obituaries and stuff like that if you had the name and the date. Finding things that you may not have known about, finding things you want to know more about, finding things you wish you didn't know about sometimes. But at any rate, the NC Historical Newspaper Collection is free. You can, you can browse through it at home, anywhere that you can access our database. You can use it anywhere, look up some information, find out what you're looking for. If you'd like some more information on this, feel free to come by the library. And we thank you very much for using this NC Live database, this resource that we have for you. We hope you do find it useful in your research. Thank you very much. Have a good day.